Hello, Crypto Space. Welcome back to the Daily Coin Crypto Digest. Hope your weekend was better than it was for most of the cryptos out there. Digital currencies are suffering dramatic turns these days for the worse. Some altcoins are severely injured. Dogecoin got a bit toasted, a hot dog in the worst sense of the word. We could almost hear them betting and begging for Monday, ASAP. So let's take a look at what's happening out there. A top story, crypto market loss was over $100 billion during the weekend. Next up, Dogecoin price crashed right after the Doge race car. That's followed by the Bitcoin hash rate has dropped to November lows. Then, Digital Euro, it's said to protect your privacy better than stable coins. Yeah, we'll see about that. And finally, South and Central American governments put their eyes on Bitcoin. So, let's flip on in. Our top story for today? The cryptocurrency market witnessed harsh losses during the weekend. Over $100 billion were liquidated, and the global crypto market capitalization fell under $1.4 trillion on Monday. All top 10 cryptocurrencies except stablecoins went red. Some of them, like Solana and Shiba Inu, suffered double-digit price drops as well. The Chinese crypto ban and restrictions are considered the biggest catalyst behind that recent drop. Over on the flip side, the cryptocurrency market has been in a downtrend since mid-May. Does anyone remember the days when the crypto market cap sat at $2.6 trillion with all-time highs? It's lost almost 50% of that value since then. Unbelievable. And the crypto market cap was not the only thing that crashed during the weekend. Dogecoin price crashed right after the Doge race car. The most famous meme coin went down by almost 20% over the past few days. The price crash coincided with Doge's participation in the NASCAR Xfinity Series race in Nashville, Tennessee. Dogecoin sponsored NASCAR driver Stefan Parson hit the wall and crashed his race car. Parson still managed to finish the race, although he was the last one to do so. On the flip side, Dogecoin seems to have had a bad luck with the petroleum cards. Maybe it should not toss and keep in line with electronic automobiles instead, electric automobiles. Otherwise, Elon may blow a gasket and really hurt himself. And then his curse would haunt Doge for life. Well, let's hope that won't happen, okay? Especially since Bitmain released the most powerful Dogecoin mining machine ever. Speaking about mining, the Bitcoin hash rate has dropped to November lows. The Bitcoin mining hash rate has hit lows not seen in eight months. The Bitcoin network hash rate dropped to 102 terahashes per second this weekend. That's a more than 40% drop since mid-April when Bitcoin hash rate reached almost 200 terahashes per second. China is the major factor behind the current drop. The country has been one of the biggest Bitcoin mining producers. Over 70% of the world's Bitcoin comes from that country, its hash rate. Lately, however, China's crypto miners are massively closing due to the cryptocurrency mining bans in that country. On the flip side, less hash rate, fewer carbon emissions, a brief respite for the climate, the United States Bitcoin miners are already buying up mining equipment from some of those defunct miners. Guess you never know what the next day holds up its sleeve, but it's alarming to see China-based Bitcoin miners losing their shirts and livelihood. Many are moving out of country. I wonder if any are considering the EU. Hmm. Speaking of the European Union, flipping on over to our next story. The digital euro is said to protect user privacy better than stable coins. Digital euro got an influential supporter in the European Central Bank board member, Fabio Panetta, who said that digital euros could protect users' privacy better than stable coins. The ECB official believes the issuer of di digital euros has no interest in storing and monetizing user data. He's more critical of privately issued stablecoins, arguing that they work for commercial interests and for profit. You naughty profit margin, you. Regardless, that central bank has conducted a recent survey which shows that Europeans, both private users and entities, are highly concerned over their data collection. 
on the flip side, nothing new under the sun here. The ECB is protecting its child, the digital euro, so of course they'll dismiss and downplay its privacy concerns. It would be more surprising if it started advocating for alternative currencies. But what type of mother would it be then? There will always be arguments among traditional institutions and cryptos. Thank God not all local authorities are like that. Speaking of pro-Bitcoin politicos, governments put their eyes on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is becoming popular among some governments once again. Weeks after El Salvador made BTC an official national currency, another Central American country, Panama, wants Bitcoin as legal tender now. Paraguay also shows positive signs of Bitcoin legalization. Politicians from both countries plan to introduce Bitcoin-related bills to their respective legislatures next month. In the meantime, the United Kingdom takes the opposite turn. Local banks have banned their users from buying cryptos from Binance and Kraken exchanges. It's because of their alleged weak security and frauds, according to British bankers. On the flip side, congratulations Britain on staying British and reinforcing stodgy old stereotypes about your country. Countries of lower economies are competing to become crypto and tech hubs for global investors. When Bitcoin is low-hanging fruit for PR purposes, the chain reaction of legalization is possible. Surprise, surprise. Don't say we didn't warn you, Britain. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, everybody. See you on the flip side for our next episode of Daily Coin Crypto Digest.